How are you now? Howdy. Hey friends, it's been a while. We've missed you. We hope you missed us too. The guy with the beard is Travis. I'm Kevin and we're H&H &H Prospecting. Doing something a little fun and new today. Uh, we're out somewhere, you know, off the Secret Creek up Nunya Business Trail looking for an old abandoned mine attic. If it's the one in particular that Travis thinks it might be, the story is behind it in the late 1890s, about 300 immigrant Chinese workers came up to work it, and at the time they pulled out nearly $300 million of free meal gold at only $20 an ounce. Who knows, right? Big dreams. Let's go do some treasure hunting, pitter patter, let's get at her. Well, made our way up the trail here. You see Travis has already jumped right into what we believe to be that old adit. Walk up here, you see Travis starting to pull some of the rocks out. We'll check out some of the mineralizations. Oh. I think we're already getting up in there. He's just going to clear some of these big rocks out of the way. That way we can get in there with the picks. we we'll start pulling out some of this other material. And see what we can might find down in there. Pitter patter. Alright. You see here? We're getting there. Travis is pulling the dirt out of the collapse. And I'm just kind of pushing it down the hill. Check it out. Travis has got an awesome pink pick. That's actually going to end up getting left up at the opal mine for you guys to use. But he's just putting some good juju on there for you now, making sure it works right, you know. Breaking the tools in. Pitter patter. Can't get that shiny sitting on your hiney. Here's your we're not responsible for the decisions you make. Be smart when you go out in the woods. If you haven't been spelunking, don't go and find addicts to try to reopen. Make sure this is something that you have experience and safety and knowledge of how and knowing how to do. You can see right now Travis is actually taking the extra steps of taking anything that could possibly fall in on us or down there and closing our hole. When we make it, we're eliminating those dangers now, extra safety precautions. But again, guys, you know, don't don't do what we do, just watch us do it. Or maybe if you oh my goodness. If you want to come out and do it with us sometime, we could probably arrange that too. Dangerous mine opening. Dangerous mine opening. Not this one. Other stuff. Pitter putter. So, you know, about had the hole cleared out enough to get crawled down in there, but safety first did the knockdown. Now you can see that hole is complete. See, and there's still stuff falling, Travis. Careful. So yeah, knock down everything. We'll clear that hole back out. It's gonna be a lot more bigger project than we expected to, you know, but bigger projects equals bigger gold, right? Isn't that how that works, Chaff? Look at that. Uh-oh. Pausing. That's an awesome vein, my Jason. So, as you just heard Travis say, awesome vein. Look at all that mineralization in this ore. There is definitely some female gold in here. We're definitely going to take some of this home and crush it. And that's on the outside. That's just what was falling in. This is looking good. Just keep digging. Just keep digging. Just keep digging. Just keep digging. Can you dig it? Alright, so we got this pocket opened up enough. And get my head down in here in the camera. 
You can see the vein they were chasing here. Really highly mineralized. Whew, this is tight. Um, looks like it might have just been a pocket though. Yeah. Dead ends. Really good looking material. Depending on what that ore turns up with, we might still want to try cleaning that out later and see if we can find anything in there still at another time, possibly. Yeah, that mineralized quartz, it didn't stop. They must have just pulled out a big pocket of free mill and decided not to chase the hard rock. So a little bit of a wrap up here before we head back to the homestead and actually talk about a giveaway we're going to do. Because uh, we still haven't done one for 1,000 subscribers yet, so we need to do that for you guys. So yeah, we punched out. We got down in there. Is this the attic we were looking for? Probably not. However, though, if that one room that was in there, that's down in there, was actually pocket gold, then easily 300 million could have came out of there. Uh, my prediction is, we, well, both Travis and I agree, is that that there was pocket gold found there, but there's still a huge vein running through there. So they got the easy pocket gold out and didn't go after that harder free mill gold that's in the vein because there was so much easy gold to find back then. It was only worth twenty dollars an ounce. It wasn't worth chasing the hard stuff. So we did. Uh, Travis did get the gold bug out and shine around. He's getting it put back, uh, put back away now. We got some really great signals on a lot of some super highly mineralized ore. So we'll take that home and clean it up, see if we can't see any free mill just chilling and add it to the crush pile, if not. Um, if anything does come out of that ore, then I am going to recommend that we'll probably come back here and keep chasing this and see what's here. Because there is no way as we look all the way around this hill, guys and ladies, this is all tailings. There's no way all the tailings came out of this one little hole. So there's got to be more up here somewhere. Um, could be We could be above the draw, or it could be on the next draw on the particular one we're looking for, but that's why they call it treasure hunting. So yeah, let's get everything cleaned back up, get back down the trail, maybe find some cool mushrooms on the way down. Here's some of that ore that we did bring home with us out of that... Big hole. You can see the quartz and iron and all sorts of mineralization going on in that. Definitely looks like there should be gold. Oh, my fingernails are awesomely gross and dirty. Should probably clean those before I do recordings of close ups. Whatever. I'm a prospector, not a hand model. So, just for fun, Travis is taking a couple pieces of that ore crushed her down with a hammer classified it down to minus quarter inch and just gonna pan a little bit of it down and just see if there might be anything in it just for fun huh. so nothing like super huge came out of that but that's gold that is free mill gold out of the top of a vein to the entrance to the hole would you look at that So it looks like some of these bigger pieces that didn't get quite crushed up, the quartz. Okay, yeah, I can see it. You can see little pieces. Gonna be in the top right. Kind of hard to do these micro shots, guys. Yeah, and I'm gonna try to stick my finger in here to show you. But no, yeah, right there on the top, you can see two little pieces of gold still sitting in that quartz. Holy crap. And to give you an idea of, you know, those pieces of gold, it came out of a rock about that size and we didn't really even crush it down that far he was just hitting it with a hammer against a steel plate we don't have a true rock crusher unfortunately well that was super fun not quite what we were expecting what we were looking for but after running the gold bug across that ore and getting some of the best sounds that we ever had travis did made the right call and brought home some small samples and those small samples were showing gold so in the future, I think we'll definitely go back there, maybe see if we can't open up that room up some more and chase that vein back a little bit deeper. I think it'd definitely be worth packing out some ore, crushing it down, and sampling it better. But that's for another time. 
Um, and we're still going to be in search of that other adit that we mentioned um, in the very beginning of the video. It's still out there somewhere too. So we want to look for that and find that. So make sure you watch for that adventure. Um, if you guys want to buy an awesome t-shirt like I was wearing in the beginning of the video or the hoodie like I'm wearing now, Terry Peen Rocks, those are our good friends. Um, that Red own Red October 2, make sure you go over to their Etsy page and just put in their names if you want to buy any of their gear. They're also the folks you want to talk to if you're looking to buy raw fire opal. If you want to buy some faceted fire opal, hit up Travis and I. Um, I think that's going to about wrap it up. Like I said, in our next video, we are giving away a faceted fire opal that came from Red October 2. Star Lord's actually holding on to it right now. Travis is going to get a better shot at that. So that video is already made. It's not going to be like a month. Hopefully in the next week, we'll get that one out and ready for you guys. So make sure you watch that for all the details so you can win that. I think that's going to wrap it up. And as always, guys, we appreciate you. Get that shine.